Welcome back, West Jackson kids. I'm so excited to share with you the final lesson in our series, What in the World? Over the last few weeks, we've learned about quite a few worldviews. Last week, we learned about Muslims and the God they worship, Allah. This week, we're going to learn about a new worldview that doesn't have any gods. Today, we're going to learn about Buddhism. Buddhism can be found in places like Thailand, Vietnam, and Mongolia. Buddha is not a god, but was just a man who was thought to be enlightened. Buddhists believe in reincarnation, which we learned about when we talked about Hinduism. This means that after you die, you'll be reborn as something else. In order to end suffering, Buddhists believe that you must earn merit, which you can earn by doing good things. It can take many lifetimes to earn enough merit to end the cycle of life, death, and rebirth. Buddhism is all about balance. Buddha claimed there's a middle way of living, one where you're not rich, but you're not poor. Buddha said that if you have no desires, you'll have no suffering. So Buddhists try to empty themselves of all desire. You might want things like a new toy, another sibling, or maybe to eat candy for every meal. Buddhists believe that it is wrong to have desires like these. They believe that they must empty themselves of their desire. As Christians, we believe that desire in itself is not wrong. Instead, we believe that Christians should want the things that God wants. Psalm 37.4 says, Take delight in the Lord and He will give you the desires of your heart. As Christians, we believe that it's okay to want things, as long as we don't put those things before God. He might not give us everything we want, like eating candy every day, because He has better plans for us. When our joy is found in Him, we want our lives to line up with His. We also believe that we cannot earn merit to earn favor with God. We cannot possibly do enough good works to earn our way into heaven. We believe that our faith in Jesus is the only thing that can get us there. And that's really good news.